Ten Department of Correction workers requested Attorney Daniel Summerfleck to file an action against the Director of the Department of Corrections, Jose B. Palacios, and Director of Guam Department of Administration, Lou Perez. According to Summerfleck, these employees are concerned that they have not received overtime pay since February, which is estimated to be close to $1 million. This isn't a new issue with a lot of agencies about not paying overtime, but in this situation, they're not even receiving their regular hourly pay when they work beyond their 43 hours. So it's kind of, not only are they not receiving their, the time and a half that they're due for working overtime, but they're not even receiving their straight pay, which, you know, every employee is entitled to. Summerfleck understands that the DOC director is trying to get the money, but he questions how long do these employees have to wait to get paid. Summerfleck also understands Palacios' dilemma with paying outside vendors over DOC employees, but he feels that GovGuam shouldn't have its obligations compete for the same funds. And if we can't afford to pay the overtime, then we need to ensure that we don't incur overtime. I mean, the obligation on overtime is always directly to the supervisors of the department, you know, and the law is very clear, you know, don't engage in overtime if you can't afford it. Well, in this situation, I guess they've engaged in overtime and they can't afford it, and now they're short. Summerfleck doesn't see a difference between the private sector and public sector as it relates to employees. But Summerfleck wonders if we are developing realistic budgets to run our government. Each year we go through our process of developing a budget, and each year we seem to, as we come to this point of the year, we have the Department of Education saying they're running out of money. We now have corrections saying they're running out of money. I would imagine if we went across the government of Guam, we'd probably hear similar situations of almost every agency saying that we're now at August and our budget is wrapped up and we can't make payment. Summerflex um, says he has not received a court is. date. He is still waiting to see if the court will grant a hearing for the preliminary injunction, and as soon as he hears that, he'll be ready for court. David Macaluso, PNC News.